What's going on guys, it's Gizmodict here and today I am back with a gaming PC build. This video will guide you about building a gaming PC for under $600 with a very decent performance at 1080p. It will perform at par or even better than the new generation consoles. So without any further ado, let's get started with the build. For the CPU, we will be using the AMD Athlon X4760K. It is a quad core chip and it runs at about 3.8GHz out of the box. It is unlocked and hence you can overclock it too. For the price of just about $85, it performs very well and hence it is used in most of the budget builds. The motherboard which we will use with the CPU is the MSI A78M E35. This board has all the latest standards like the USB 3.0, SATA 3.0 and even PCI 3.0. It also supports overclocking with easy overclocking tools. For a price of just about $60, it is perfect for the build. Coming to the graphics card, it is one of the most important component in a gaming build. For this build, we will be going with an AMD R9 270X. It is a very good GPU as it comes with 2GB of GDDR5 memory which is good enough for current games and it also comes with AMD Mantle support. It offers good performance in most of the games at 1080p and for just about $199, it is the best bang for the buck video card. You can also opt for any brand like uh, Gigabyte, MSI, XFX or Sapphire. You can also check out the R9 270 which is like $30 to $40 cheaper than the 270X. But in case you are an Nvidia fanboy and you don't want to go for AMD, then you can choose between the GTX 750 Ti or the GTX 760 depending upon your budget. The performance and the price of the R9 270X lies between the 750 Ti and the 760 and hence it is most suitable for this build. Now coming to the usual stuff, for the RAM we will be going with 8GB of Corsair Vengeance Blue RAM. It is going to cost you about $80 and I think that 8GB uh, of memory is good enough for gaming right now. For the storage you can go for a 500GB of Western Digital Caviar Blue Drive. If you want to spend more, you can definitely go for a 1TB drive or maybe an SSD too. I link some good SSDs in this video's description. This whole system will be powered by a Corsair CX500 power supply. It is a 500 watt 80 plus bronze certified PSU and it is good enough for this build. I have checked it online and 500 watt would be enough for powering all the components in the PC. And finally this whole system will be placed in an NZXT source 210 Elite case. For just about $50 this case has a compact form factor and it comes with a USB 3.0 port, which is nice. It is also available in two colors, black and white. So these were all the parts for our console killer gaming PC. It will cost you under $600 depending upon the parts you choose and it will definitely provide you a decent performance at 1080p in most games. All of the parts are linked in this video's description so that you guys can check them out. If you liked the video, feel free to hit the like button and if you want to see more such videos, do subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button below this video. Do drop in your queries and views about this video in the comment section and you can also ask me your queries on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. The links to them are in this video's description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.